Hello friends, this is the sixth part of follow unfollow system in PHP using Ajax jQuery, and in this part, we will discuss how to display all user with follow button. In previous part, we have covered how user can share post, and after share a post, how display all post with latest share post on web page, without page refresh. For list user with follow button, we have go to index page and here we have define one division tag with attribute id is equal to user list, under this tag we will load user with follow button. Now we have go to jQuery part, and here we have make fetch user function, this function will load user with follow button on web page. Under this function, first we have define action variable is equal to fetch user, this variable value we will user at server side. Now we have start write ajax request, and under this we have write first option url set to action.php. Here we have send request to this page. In second option we have write method. In this option we can define by using which method we have to send data to server. So here we have use post method. In third option, we have write data. In this option we have define which data we want send to server. So here we have send action variable value as data to server. Lastly, we have write success callback function. This function has been called if request completed successfully, and this function will receive data. Under this function, we have write dollar with division tag id, user list with html method, and under this method we have write data, it will display user list with follow button under this tag. Now we have moved to write PHP code, so we have go to action.php file, and here we have write if statement, and under condition we have write dollar post action variable value is equal to fetch user. If this condition true, then it will execute if block of code, and under this we have write dollar query variable is equal to, select star from Twitter user, where user ID is not equal to dollar session user ID variable. And order by user ID in descending order, this select query will select all user data from table, except login user, so here login user will not see his or her details with follow button. Below this we have write, dollar statement variable is equal to, dollar connect variable with prepare statement, under this we have write dollar query variable, it will make query for execution. For query execution, here we have write dollar statement variable with execute method, it will execute query. After query execution, we have write dollar result variable is equal to dollar statement variable with fetch all method, this method will return query execution result. Now we have write for each loop, and under condition we have write, dollar result variable as dollar row variable under this loop first we have write if statement and under condition we have write dollar row profile image variable value is not equal to blank if this condition true then it will execute if block of code and under this we have write dollar profile image variable is equal to 
image tag with source is equal to images folder slash dollar row profile image variable. But suppose, above condition false, then it will execute else block of code, and here we have write dollar profile image variable, is equal to image tag, with source is equal to images folder slash, user.jpg So, here we have define, if user has upload his or her image, then it will display profile image, otherwise it will display default user image. Now, we have write dollar output variable, and under this variable we have append this HTML code, under this first we want to display profile image, so here we have write dollar profile image variable. After this we want to display username, so here we have write dollar row username variable, it will display username here. After this we want to make follow, unfollow button, for this here we have make one function, make follow button with three argument like dollar $connect variable dollar sender id variable and dollar receiver id variable under this function we have write dollar query variable is equal to select star from follow table where sender id is equal to dollar sender id variable and receiver ID is equal to dollar receiver ID variable. This query will select follow data from this table. If login user is follow any user from list, then that data will be select from this query. Now we have write dollar statement variable is equal to dollar connect variable with prepare statement. Under this we have write dollar $query variable, it will make query for execution. For query execution, we have write dollar $statement variable, with execute method, it will execute select query. Below this, we have write dollar $total row variable is equal to dollar $statement variable with row count method, this method will return number of row affected after query execution. Now we have write, if statement, and under condition we have write, dollar total row variable value is greater than zero. If this condition true, that means login user is already follow particular user, then with that user, we have to display following button. So, in this case, we have write dollar output variable is equal to, button tag with type equal to button, name is equal to follow button, class is equal to action button. This class value, we will use as selector in jQuery code, after this here we have write data action is equal to unfollow, here we have define unfollow action, when user click on this button. And lastly, we have write data sender ID is equal to, dollar sender ID variable, here we have store particular user ID, and in button text we have write following, so in this block we have make unfollow button. But suppose above condition false, that means login user not follow particular user, then it will execute else block of code, and here we have write dollar output variable is equal to button tag with type equal to button, name is equal to follow button class is equal to action button 
This class value, we will use as selector in jQuery code. After this here we have write data action is equal to follow, here we have defined follow action, when user click on this button. Lastly we have write, return statement with dollar output variable, this is the output of this function. Now here we have called this, make follow button function with three argument like, dollar connect variable, dollar row user id variable, and dollar session user id variable, this function will make follow unfollow button for particular user. After this we want to display, particular user number of followers, so here we have write dollar row follower number variable, it will display number of followers of particular user. Lastly we have write echo statement, with dollar output variable, it will send data to Ajax request. Now we have go to index page, and here we have called this fetch user function, this function has been called when page load, and it will display user list with follow unfollow button. Now we have check output in browser. Friends, currently we can see on web page, here we can see only share post form, user previous post, on web page, now we have refresh web page. After refresh of web page, we can see all user list with follow button, by click on this button, we can follow particular user, and login user can see, that user post below with his or her post. Here we can see all user only follow button, with number of follow of particular user, this is because currently we have not follow any user. Once we have follow, any user, then that user button will be changed for unfollow. And by click on that button login user can unfollow particular user post. In next part, we will discuss code unfollow and unfollow, by using Ajax jQuery with PHP script. If you have any query or input regarding this video tutorial, please comment your query or input in comment box, or if you like this video tutorial please share with your friends, or even you can also share on social media also. If you want to get more update regarding our video tutorial, please subscribe our YouTube channel for get more update regarding release of future video. Lastly keep watching our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching this video tutorial.